Chestnuts roasting Black Frost nipping Girl coming at you with another video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. This is the second video for my low holiday series, and I have none other than my Madre, who is the CEO, owner, founder, creator, everything for Keepsake Crafts. And I want you to go and follow her on Instagram, check out what she's got, buy a little some some. She started her holiday, it's not your holiday things, right? Mm, soon. Well, yes. Yep. She started her holiday dings. So, you know, we all use a little Christmas craft, little Christmas decorations, but she does so much, so much more than just decorations. So be sure to check her out. So right now we're going to do, um, what are you explaining? Okay, we're going to do two little crafts um, for kids. So you can make a little treat box, you know, to put something, little chocolate or something like that for Nana, Papa, teacher, auntie, uncle, anybody who the little kids would like to spread a little love to. And guess what? The adults can do it also. All right. Okay. So what are we going to um, do first? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a little treat box. And I think we're going to start with the box first. And the first thing we're going to do, we have these little panels. So we have the box or the makings of a box. And we have these panels that we are going to decorate the box with. So we're going to get out our little glue and Ryan is going to follow along. You ain't gotta call me Ryan. Oh. I think they know you call me Polly. Okay, Polly is going to follow along. Um, okay, so put the glue not too close to the edge because you don't want it to So again, we're going to take the glue and we're not going to put it really close to the edge because we want some room for the glue to spread without spilling all of your craft. Okay, now we're just going to put the box together. So we have this little flap, so I'm going to turn it over. Squeeze it down, and we're going to take this. Once it's lean, we're going to put some glue on that little flap, but then we put it down, then we'll just stay like that. So, on this flap, again, we don't want to go too close to the, oops, to the edge like idea right there and this is going to be held in the body box i should say so don't be afraid to put some glue on there and line it up as best as you can Press it down and we give it a chance to hold. And for the bottom, we are going to we're going to put a little bit of glue right here. Oops, that's even too much. And a little bit right there. And put that edge down. And then this edge. Put some glue. And turn it nice and gentle. And we'll stick our hands in there. 
can get this flap all nice and glued together. So you should put them on this flap because then you know it's in the end. Okay, and there we have our box. Go ahead, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Polly got her box. Okay, we're gonna make a little gingerbread man to put on the front of the box. Put my flap and stick down. Okay. So now we have the um, gingerbread man and the gingerbread girl and boy. Now there are two ways that we're going to do this. I think that the easiest way, because we have, okay, here's the gingerbread. Okay, this one doesn't have the cutouts for the little white cuffs. I thought for those who are a little younger, I would just cut them out. And then we would put a white one behind it, and ta-da, all the squigglies are on. There you go. Okay, but before we put the white on, we're going to put the black circle behind the eyes and the mouth, so that they are colored in first. So that is going to be our first step. So let's take... Again, a little bit of glue, a little bit, and you can actually put it on the back of the gingerbread man. Just a little bit around his eyes, and around his, again, staying oh, far God. away from the edge, because you don't want the glue to press through. Okay, and there we have it. The eyes. Oh, that's probably getting the legs spread all through. Yeah. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Now the next thing we're gonna stick the white portion on. And we are going to actually let's put it on the brown portion. We'll put it on the gingerbread itself. And it's slightly on the inside. And we're gonna just take the white and place it right in there. Okay, and as you can see, the white one is slightly smaller than the brown one. Now the little boy gets a tie, a red button, and a green button. Okay, they also have some little cheek, whoops, little rosy cheeks. Mine has a bow, a red button, and a green, a pink button, a pink button, and a green button. And some cheeks. And some cheeks. Now I know everybody doesn't have tweezers, but I have these little tweezers that I tend to use. And all you need is one little dot. This is all you need on this. And take it 
and press it down. Even that one little dot is too much. Now we also have some other embellishments also that's if we don't use these or we can use these for buttons also. So let's just say for the red, let's peel off and I'm just using these little buttons. So we can even we can put the paper down and then we can also add these also and it just gives it a little bit of dimension. So that's it. We made the gingerbread. Oh man, that was the easy way. Now if I had to do it with putting on the squigglers myself, as opposed to just putting the white behind it, it would definitely take more time and more work. So this is what mine's mama's look like. Hopefully the camera's in focus. And the last thing to do to finish off our treat box is to put the gingerbread man on the front. Okay, and I'm just gonna put it on the cross so that it'll look just like that. So be sure when you put glue on it that you don't put glue way to the top of the head. Two little boxes. Now it's nice because it's a nice treat in there, nice little chocolates, candy cane any kind of goodies. You can even get a small gift in there. It could be nice for a gift card. All sorts of stuff. Gift card and some candy. Mm -hmm. so the next craft we're going to do that we're going to make a little a mug to hold some hot chocolate. Like a packet of hot chocolate and um, maybe a candy cane. Again, you could put a gift card in this also, but the idea is that it's just it's gonna look like a mug. It's gonna look like a cup of hot chocolate. Okay, so we have these two flaps here, and that is where we're going to put the glue. We're gonna fill them in, and again, not too much glue and not too close to the edge. Okay, so you can take it and then you can just take your and press it down a little bit. Use the table because you can really, you know, press down. You will run your finger up and down where you have the glue. Next thing you're going to do is going to put the panel on. Okay. And this gives it a little. Okay. This is what we have so far. So far we have the mug in front. Now we're going to put some hot chocolate in there, some little marshmallows. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the glue just along the top. Okay, again, keeping the glue away from the edge. Okay, we'll run one and then on the bottom of the Four thing. We put some glue. Okay. And then we place it in. Is that where you put it? Mm -hmm. You put the glue on the top of the mug? Or you just put it all over again? I just, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
could be marshmallows spilling over. No, oops, I didn't line mine up properly, but it's good. It's good. Okay, and then we're going to add a little snowflake just for a little bit of embellishment, just right down there. Okay, a little bit of glue just on the center of the smaller one. And I'm just going to line it up. You don't want the... Okay, so I did mine where I lined mine up with the arrows. No hard and fast reel. And the young Polly put hers off center. Okay, so I lined mine up and Polly did hers off center. Take a little embellishment. A silver one. It could be silver, it could be white. It could be red. I'm just gonna put that there. 3D adhesive. So I'm gonna put some adhesive 3D dots on the back of this snowflake. Okay. Just two. And will all of these supplies be included? Yes, all of these supplies will be included in the kit. Christmas kits, Christmas gift kits. And I'm just going to stick it slightly off center. Not on the bottom. Make sure the bottom is up because you have to yeah. put the down at the bottom stick off, but let the. Yeah. Let's tap the brown so it's like so, like that. Like so, like that. Okay. And there you have the little mug. I don't have any. Um, Cocoa packets, but you would have a, put a cocoa packet in there. Then we can stick a little. Um, obviously, we could put the gingerbread man in a package of some kind because we don't want him out there being all flat. And a little packet in the box. We could do the same sort of thing. Here's a little um, hot chocolate little stick with the spoon. And then a little candy cane. Put some cookies in there. Could have some cute little marshmallows. Obviously, put it all in the packaging so that it stays fresh for the recipient. And there you go. You would have two cute little gifts. A nice if you get some, make some nice homemade cookies. And you can use this one for the hot chocolate. You put the cookies in this one. Could be a gift together or gift separately. Separately. Yeah. But in the end, I mean, you can use it for whatever you want. Yes, exactly. Because again, this could be great for a gift card also. You know? Or you're allowed to Santa Claus. Santa Claus. So be sure to really pay attention to her Instagram page these next couple of weeks well days, days because yeah. christmas is her tomorrow christmas is her so um that's the craft part now we're gonna go into the kitchen Bam. so we are gonna need a mug some candy canes some chocolate candy melts and some marshmallows and this is what we're gonna need to make our hot chocolate stick We're gonna start off by putting our candy melts in a glass bowl because we're gonna pop these in the microwave to melt. And you wanna do this in one minute intervals and just stir between each minute until you get the desired texture. We're gonna unwrap one of our candy canes and we're gonna take out one of our marshmallows. We got these big boy marshmallows you like. And then you're just gonna stick your candy cane in the marshmallow, just like that deal. And then you're going to dip it in your chocolate. Now you can put a little bit of chocolate, you could put a lot, you could cover the whole marshmallow. It's all about what you want. So we just happen to have some crushed peppermint candy. And so as you can see, we're just going to dip our chocolate covered marshmallow into the candy. It gives a nice finishing touch. So 
So I filled my mug with some warm oat milk and now we're just gonna stick our marshmallow into the milk and we're gonna stir and the chocolate and marshmallows slowly begin to melt in the milk you can see that the color is turning and guys so wow yummy Christmas all up in your mouth And that wraps up this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed these couple of little keepsake craft crafts that will be on sale. Don't forget that. And our little hot chocolate treat. Um, don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Twitter and Instagram at Rain Sierra. And also keepsake crafts at keepsake crafts on Instagram. Everything will be linked below. Be sure to Please support local businesses, which includes Keepsake Crafts. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Deuces! <laughs>